Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University. What's the deal with the science of reading? We're going to have a webinar April 27th, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 6 o'clock Central Standard Time, 11 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time to look at this very thing. We are going to examine five questionable claims related to the science of reading. The first one is there is a crisis of reading achievement in the United States. That is actually not true. We are going to challenge that. If you look at NAEP data, you'll see that scores are largely flatline in the last 20 years, slightly uh, above where they were in 1927 or 72. Certainly no valid data to show that there's this crisis and we're failing. It doesn't mean we can't do better, but it simply is not true. Just because people say it a lot doesn't mean it's true. And they're saying it here in Minnesota based on very questionable data. But if it were true, lack of phonics instruction is the cause of this mystical reading crisis and this mythical reading crisis. Well, that's not true. But even if there were a crisis of, of all the variables, someone decided that phonics, yes, that's it, lack of phonics, that's what's causing this. Not class sizes, not, uh, not teachers who aren't qualified to teach reading, not lack of legitimate professional development, but phonics. I, I don't see where this claim came from. The National Reading Panel report provides irrefutable evidence that phonics should be taught at the center of all reading instruction. Actually, if you read the report, that's not what it says. And I would re recommend that you not just sound out the words, but actually read the report. A balanced approach to literacy instruction doesn't include explicit and systematic phonics instruction. Oh my! Well, that's not true. Everyone believes in direct instruction. Everyone believes in explicit instruction in both phonics, systematic instruction, and phonemic awareness. It's not the what, it's the how and the how much. Research unequivocally supports extensive prescribed phonics instruction as the key variable in determining the success and failure in learning to read. Again, that is not quite true. I cite this article as well as I'll be citing the National Reading Panel report. What's the deal with the science of reading? This is the structure. A lot of the ununderstanding related to the science of reading relates to the ununderstanding of what science is, what research is in educational research. I'm going to define science. Science is simply asking a question, using data to answer that question. The National Reading Panel Report, there's some good stuff in there. Absolutely nothing new or groundbreaking, but there is some stuff in there that reinforces what we've known for years and years. And then, by the way, the National Reading Panel Report recommends five pillars, they call them. Well, those five pillars are five short. We are going to describe or examine 10 pillars in a comprehensive literacy program. 10 things that should be included. Join us, please. I'll leave plenty of time for questions and discussions. You're free, you're free to disagree with me and call me a nut if you want to. I will post the link below this YouTube. 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, April 27th, 6 o'clock Central Standard Time, 11 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time.